How does this sort of work into the design process? I mean, I, I've heard of this thing, rapid prototyping. How does that, what's that all mean as far as 3D printing? The real hindrance with 3D printing right now is scale. Um, it's very cost prohibitive to print things that are very large in scale. We have a motorcycle in the gallery, but that's a pretty big print and it took a lot of time. Um, so there's this other idea out there called rapid prototyping. And there you see products like 123 Make, um, things that take very large objects like this elephant, or last year for Maker Faire we did a 12 foot tall Trojan horse out of cardboard. Um, and it takes those big elements and it takes them out into folded panels or it takes them out like as you can see in the octopus in the background um, into sliced cardboard cutouts. So we can use something like a laser cutter to make things very large very quickly. So it's just a matter of time. So Right, I usually think of 3D printing because since you're doing layer by layer by layer, that can take a while. Yeah. And the higher resolution you have, I would think the more layers you have to put down. Yeah, and it's a really interesting time too because the, the high-end 3D printers are extremely high res and very slow <laughs> and very high cost. Um, and the consumer grade printers, things like a MakerBot or a Type A machine, they're um, extremely low res and very fast. <laughs> um, and, but their cost is kind of going up, and the high-res stuff, the cost is kind of going down. So I think in the next couple of years, we're going to see a meet in the middle, and you're going to end up with this great device that almost anybody can use and give you know, a print that is very usable for multiple things. 